All right, now let's see that how this works now. OK, now say this is a table, all right, with that quantity of labor. OK, and then a total product is a TP and marginal product, OK, MP, and then the average product AP. OK, all right, now say uh, this is your uh, quantity of the labor. So this is the quantity of your labor, OK? So uh, there is a zero labors and there is a total product zero, all right? Nothing in there, all right? So marginal product is nothing. You, you cannot fill in because leave it blank because this is based on that, the uh, information you, you obtain from these two things as well as the average products, OK? Now, say you have a one labors and the total product is 50. OK, so. If you look at that, the marginal product of uh, yeah, OK, the marginal product usually, as I said, uh, the total product divided by the quantity of labor, correct or not? Correct, isn't it? The, the marginal product, all right, is a 50 minus zero. OK, and then um, uh, and then uh, this is the difference is one minus zero, so you get a one. So fifty over one, you get a fifty. Changes. So for instance, you can see the marginal product usually we indicate as a um, uh, dq over dl. So in other form is changes in a q. Okay, this is in the derivative forms. All right, and derivative of L. All right. So this will be called marginal product. So called MP. OK, the formula is this is what you get here. OK, so which means you can see that your total product TP. OK, so total product. So product is indicated Q. So or you can say also can say the TP. All right, you can say the TP over there TP. So this is a 50 minus 0 over and 1 minus 0. So you get a 50, correct or not? So this is what they get here. Is it clear? So let me do the other things. All right, so look at this stuff. All right, so changes in these two. All right, so under 10, under 10 minus 50, you take this uh, under 10 minus 50, and then you take a 2 minus 1, the changes in these two. So 2 minus 1 and you get a uh, 60 over 1. So this will be 60. So the changes, the marginal product between these two will be 60. All right. Now, same things that goes to the others. All right. In order to get that 280, how are you going to do that? How do you get a 280? How did they get the marginal products 280 or there? Same things. You take 390 minus with a 110 over then 3 over 2. So we get that the uh, uh, the uh, the figures is a 280. OK, so this is how you get that the rest. All right, the changes. All right, marginal product. Remember, it changes in the production over the changes in the labor. OK, average products. All right, what does it mean average products? Average product is the total product divided by the number of the unit of the variable factor. OK, what does it mean variable variable factor? What is the variable labor. factor is? Labor. Huh? Labor. Very labor. Excellent. Fantastic. All right. So you're still awake. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, so as you can see that the total production is 110. All right. So divided by the quantity of labor is 2. So 110 divided by 2, you get a 55. OK, as well, how do you get under, uh, uh, average products? So 390 divided by 3, and you get 130, and so on. Easy, isn't it? So now you know how to, OK, by providing these two, all right, the quantity labor and the quantity products. Sorry, guys, they're different colors. OK, by using that the quantity labor and quantity uh, total products, 
So you be able to count that the marginal product and as well as that average products. Can you?